well, cats, for the most part, do what they want to do and go where they want to go. They kind of do. Well, one in northern Alberta recently returned from an outing, hmm. an outing that lasted seven years. <laughs> CBC's Stacey Bratzel has the story in your Daily Lift. Maddie. Maddie seems awfully shy. But apparently, she's a pretty chatty catty. She's very vocal. She likes to talk. But Kat's got her tongue about where she's been the last seven years. <laughs> no comment. Maddie was adopted by Justin House's mom in 2009. The calico cat occasionally went outside. One day, she just went missing. That was in 2015. I just thought she must have gotten, like killed unfortunately or something bad must have happened to her yeah i have i'm a total cat fan i know a little bit about uh body language and things like that amanda george got a chance to put her cat whispering skills to the test last month she kept seeing this strange kitty in her north edmonton neighborhood she first popped out about the beginning of september and i thought to myself well i'm pretty sure she must have a home she's so beautiful tried to gain her trust by just slowly feeding her I know I had to try and get her help before winter. So she put pictures of the cat all over Facebook on the many Edmonton pet lost and found sites. She looked at the cat's tattoo and contacted a vet and wouldn't you know it, it was Maddie the AWOL cat. A little bit of shock at first because uh, we have a dog, her name is Molly. So when the vet called and said Maddie, mom just thought they were misspeaking. But this is the most amazing part and you're probably going to say, are you kidding me? The houses live in White Court. So did Maddie, and that's in northern Alberta. From her home there to Edmonton, where Maddie was found, it's about 200 kilometers. It takes about two hours to get there by car. We think um, she must have like crawled up under a truck for some warmth. Animal Care and Control says they get about 4,000 cats a year. We have lots of stories of pet reunifications that happen where animals have been lost for long periods of time and they're reunited particularly through us because they have a license, the contact information is kept up to date, or the animal has uh, some form of identification where we're able to trace the owner. But one thing is for certain, Maddie will not make her way back to Edmonton. She's strictly an indoor cat now. Stacey Bratzel, CBC News, Edmonton. I would think so. Yeah. Do not let that cat out. Don't let the cat outside. And get your uh, your pet tattooed because and the microchip. Like, what a so, great thing that they can reunify you. Yeah, exactly.